Hello guys, welcome back. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night, no matter where you are. So uh, today I'm gonna share an education topic. So how do you move your stop loss? I will call this the art of moving stop loss using supply and demand. But this is only for me because I follow my rules. All right. So first of all, let us review back some of the things that uh, we we learned before. Uh, I always repeat this sentence. I always repeat this sentence. I don't know whether if you guys remember or not. I always sell at supply. Okay, and then buy at demand. So this sentence always remind me where should I place my stop loss. Alright, this is very very important. It's just that uh, after you're already in the trade, okay, you need to adjust your stop loss to a profit area. So you need to follow this rule: sell at supply, buy at demand. So I'm giving you an example over here. This is Euro USD, Euro USD. Alright. So assuming, assuming, right, I have entered a trade over here. This is an example. This is an example. So assuming that I already enter a trade over here, all right. So this, let me darken this line so that it's easier for you guys to see. All right. So assuming that this is my enter price, and my stop loss price, let's say that is over here, right. So now, as the price move, okay, I'm already in a profitable position. So how can I? Or how should I move my stop loss? How can I or how should I move my stop loss? So first rule of all, a lot of people will straight away move their stop loss to break even. This is actually wrong. This is actually wrong. So first of all, we must we must uh, analyze this movement even even though you are in a uh, required as a profitable position, but you need to analyze your position, your 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 trades. Okay. So first of all, when this price drop, I will see that is there any supply zone over here? Okay, because we sell at supply means that there is a barrier. Supply zone means that there is a barrier or a, a friction for it to go down. Sometimes it may retest and then comes back and retest again for the second time and then only goes down. By the time if you already move your stop loss to break even, it will stop you out and then only it will goes down then you will curse yourself definitely you will curse yourself right because i've been in that position many many times so from there i learned and uh, i learned how to adjust my stop loss so first of all i will reduce my risk okay i won't i won't i won't say that i will mini i will uh, completely eliminate my my risk okay i won't put, put it at a break even i will reduce my risk i might place it above a supply zone so at this moment we don't see any supply zone over here so anyway i'm gonna move it to this area too to this i'll uh, let's do it again right so this i'll make it as a uh, tail and then darken it okay so this is the stop loss that i've adjust assuming that this is my stop loss i will reduce it first of all i reduce it so if you can see i already reduced my my stop loss from the big area from the blue to the red now to the blue to the tail uh, color right so i reduce it and that what i do is that i'm going to monitor i'll see how the price goes okay let's uh, play along and see okay so if this thing happen right if this price happens like this okay then i will move my stop loss to this area why why do i why, why i'm i'm moving it there because here we have a supply zone this is another supply zone over here so means that when the price comes back first thing is the price must do is that must test this supply zone before it continues all right before it continues or sometimes if it reverse okay even this supply zone cannot hold it and then reverse take me out i'm still okay with it Alright, so because this is a fresh supply zone over here, so that's why I will move it above the supply zone. 
Then I will monitor, keep monitoring, see what will happen. Then we have another new supply zone. Can you see? We have another new supply zone over here. This is another new supply zone. So what I'll do is that I'm going to move my stop loss a bit higher than the supply zone. Alright, so continually, let's see what happens. Alright. Okay, so we have a new supply zone over there. Oh, there's no supply zone, sorry. Let's monitor and see how the price moves. I fast forward faster. Nothing much happened. All right. So so if you can see when the price makes something like this and there is a jump so what i can identify is that i have another new supply zone there is no other supply zone over here except for this one this is another new supply zone can you see so when you see a new supply zone so what do you think i will do because i will adjust my stop loss a bit above from that so if you can see that my entry was on top first of all i reduced my risk i didn't eliminate then i adjust it accordingly to the stop loss okay until i have a, a significant stop loss okay i can see a significant stop loss what do i mean by significant stop loss means that a uh, significant supply means that when there is a supply and there is a huge jump down then that is the the place i'm gonna place a uh, adjust my stop loss so let's move forward a bit see what will happen all right to the price. all right so if this is a new supply zone but i will move it first so it is so, so now the price has went down i will place my stop loss over this place all right then of course i have my take profit zone okay i of course i have my take profit zone so hopefully it will reach my take profit zone so for this uh trade okay example this trade the uh, take profit zone will be somewhere around here reason is that this is a universal quasi model okay low uh lower high lower low then it breaks so there is a qm level over here so I will put my take profit, uh, let's assume that it's around here because this is a fresh demand zone. You can see this is a fresh demand zone over here. Right, so I'll put my take profit. If it reach my take profit, then it's good. So, but if it reverse, then I will have nothing to say about that. Alright, so this is how I place my, place my trade and then how I adjust my uh, stop loss. I'll make it faster. We need to monitor. See, so now it retests. This is this is one of the reasons why I always place it. You can see this is the one of the reasons why you need to place it above your uh supply zone. So now this price came back and then retest exactly retest at this zone. Can you see it? Okay, it touches re this zone and then it goes down continues with this trend so that's why you need to be aware of this kind of zone okay that's why uh, and you need to know how to adjust your stop loss so let's play along and see does it trigger yes okay so you have your tp over here all right entry stop loss tp so this is how you place your stop loss how you adjust it when you have a running profitable trade all right make supply zone as your barrier if you're making a sell and then make demand zone as your barrier when you are going for long or, or buy trade all right so hopefully you guys learn a bit about the art of adjusting your stop loss okay so see you guys if you have any question please uh, 
comment it at the command comment session. Okay, yeah, correct. Right. Okay, so see you guys. Bye.